Hey there, I'm Stephanie. I'm one of the ER nurses. How are you? Hi, Miss Stephanie. Can you tell me your name and date of birth? My last name is Jazz. My first name is Hugh. Hugh Jazz. And what's your date of birth, Mr. Jazz? 4154. Do you need my medical record number? No, sir, I don't expect you to have that memorized, but it's on your armband. We'll verify it in a few minutes. Thank you, Miss Stephanie. The doctors have ordered some blood tests, so I'm going to be drawing some blood on you, okay? Yes, Miss Stephanie. Okay. I'm going to put the tourniquet on your arm. Real tight. Okay, ready for a little stick? Okay, Mr. Jazz, I'm gonna label your blood at bedside before we send it to the lab. Okay, Mr. Jazz, let me verify your name and date of birth again. Hugh Jazz. And what's your date of birth? It's 4-1-54-1954. Okay, I just need to verify your medical record number. The last three digits are 789. 789, 789, and 789. Okay, Mr. Jazz, we're gonna send your blood to the lab and we'll let you know as soon as the test results come back, okay? Thank you, Miss Stephanie. So why have you decided to adopt the final check as a key intervention in the emergency department? Well, we wanted to do the final check because wrong labels, wrong patient names put on our lab specimens is a huge patient safety risk. We end up either under treating a patient who needs treatment or providing the wrong intervention to a patient that didn't need it at all. So is this going to mean more work for the staff? Actually, that's the best part about the final check process. It's not more step. It's actually a simple process for labeling our labs. Everything is exactly the same up until the point when we do our final check. And at that point, the staff previously, the process was that they had to read the entire nine digits of the medical record number and then verify with each label. And basically, either they weren't following the policy because it was too cumbersome and we had too many labs and we had another EMS patient coming in or the workload was such, it didn't allow for the policy to be followed, or they weren't able to. Nine digits, is just, it's just too many digits. So this way, we say out loud the last three digits of the patient's medical record number and we compare it to each label and repeat out loud the last three digits of the patient's medical record number of each label. How will you know if this key intervention is working? That's another favorite part about this process. With the final check, we can know that our staff are or are not following the policy just by walking past the room. When we walk past the room, if we do not hear the staff who's collecting and labeling the specimen say the last three digits out loud, we know the policy is not being followed. Prior to this with our old policy and our old procedures, we didn't know that the staff wasn't following the process until we got a report from the lab saying that we didn't have the correct label on the specimen. So that's that's really the best part. We can, staff can correct each other now. They can be walking past the room and say, hey, I didn't hear you say the last three digits out loud. And then as leadership, it's very easy to track whether or not this process is being followed. So we're hoping in Healthcare, it is so difficult to find something so simple as this to solve such a serious patient safety concern. We're hoping this will be very effective. 